Hey everybody, it's Andy. People often ask me, what is my single favorite backpack? Or if I had to choose just one, what would that bag be? Because there are so many different types of bags, I find that I hesitate to give an answer. But if someone were to ask me what my favorite briefcase is, I would have a clear winner, and that is the Tom Bin Pilot. In this video, I'm going to go over the Tom Bin Pilot, its features, how I use it, and hopefully give you a sense for what the bag is like if you might want one. If you like content like this and want to see more, please smash the like button on YouTube, leave a comment below, and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers this year, and now we're just about halfway through. I only need 150 to go. Without further ado, let's get into the pilot. The pilot is a 13 liter bag measuring 15.4 inches on the long side, 11.4 on the height, and 5.1 in depth. It comes in a variety of materials, ranging from Tom Bin's 400D Halcyon, the 525D Ballistic Nylon, and their 1050D Ballistic Nylon, with the lightest version in Halcyon, weighing just under 1 pound 1, 2 ounces, and the heaviest version weighing 1 pound 7.5 ounces. So a pretty lightweight and small compact package. This is the sort of thing that you could take with you on a Ryanair flight, or one of those European airlines that only allow the minimalist personal baggage size. I personally like this bag because of its organization, and I'm going to show you all of the different pockets we have that have access from the exterior. First, I'm going to walk around the bag, though, to give you a sense for what it looks like. Over here on the front, we have a what I think of as a butterfly-type design. You have this pocket in the middle that acts as the, um, the main body, with these two pockets on the side acting as wings. Depending on how you have the bag filled out and the colors, sometimes you can see the little black liner here bowing out like the wings of a butterfly. Over on the bottom of this pocket, we have the Tom Bin logo with a little airplane. And on the top, we have a handle. This is a pretty standard Tom Bin handle, but it's very comfortable. It has uh, attachment points on two sides, and it's fairly grippy and squishy. And this is at the very center of the bag. So when it comes to holding it, it balances very well. On the side of the bag, we have a little attachment point where you can put on a shoulder strap. And we have the same on the other side. Looking at the back of the bag, we have here a sleeve where you can use either as a document sleeve or if you unzip uh, this zipper here, it can be used as a luggage pass-through. So that's very useful. The Pilot was originally intended to be a bag for travelers, either an accompaniment to a larger carry-on or a super minimal bag that you could do one bag travel in. So that's why it has a lot of these travel-oriented features. Let's take a look at the pockets in the Pilot. Starting at the very center, this zipper is our water bottle pocket. It keeps the water bottle centered in the bag so that the weight is more distributed, water often being very heavy. And over here, I have my 20 ounce Camelback chute. If we look inside the pocket, we see we have one of the O-rings at the top where you can attach thumb and accessories. And we have the internal liner color, mine being a Wasabi 200E Halcyon. On the sides, we have this uh, black mesh so that if you have stuff in the side pockets that wants to fill in, it can do that. Or if you have a little wider water bottle, you can eat room out of those. Finally, at the bottom of this pocket, there's a little O-ring here that would allow some water to drip out just in case your bottle leaked without having it pool into the bag and soak into the fabric. Looking into the side pockets, this side here, which is if you're facing the bag on the left of the water bottle pocket, we have it opens uh, with a zipper at uh, you know, a three quarters corner. So I can fold it open like this and get access. In here, I have my Thule Power Shuttle, which is where I keep my Bose over-ear headphones, as well as a, uh, a little slip pocket here that is sized perfectly for my iPad Mini. We also have, in this pocket, an O-ring in the top corner, if you wanted to attach any accessories there. Looking then on the other side pocket, across the bag, we have a similar but differently organized option. First, we still have that O-ring at the top where I have attached my Apple AirPods Mini, or AirPods Pro, as well as this Tom Bin mini organizer pouch where I have a chapstick in. 
Also, I have in this pocket a Bellroy Classic pouch, which is where I stick my hard drive and cables for editing these videos. And then over here, we've got a bit more organization. There are three pen pockets. Here I have a uh, Pilot bottle to pen, a Schaefer 300 fountain pen, and in this uh, slightly wider pocket, I have this little foldable phone stand. Looking at the other side of the bag, we have the main compartment, where the front was divided into those three sub pockets. The back is a large pocket that goes all the way across. This large YKK size number 10 going from each of the shoulder strap attachment handles to the other. And in here, we have a massive space. I just keep in the middle here my GORUCK wire dop, which is where I keep all of the cables and stuff that I need for work, as well as this little um, laptop stand. I, I don't have a brand for it. And this mechanical keyboard. Looking further, we have two little organization pockets at the front, one of these in which I keep my armbands. As with many of Tom Bin's accessories, this one has a modular laptop option where I keep my Tom Bin cache. What we have here are two uh, gatekeeper strap loops with the gatekeeper clips. I don't actually have it clipped in, but my Tom Bin cache can attach to these and easily pull out if needed. And in here, I have my 13 inch MacBook Pro. Let's take a look at the inside of the main compartment of the pilot without anything in it. You see we have some of the O-rings above the open slip pockets and then the cash loop attachments on the other side. And then overall, it's just a large, uh, deep pocket still lined with that wasabi liner on one side. And then the inside, you can see the back of that 400D original Halcyon. And it's all uh, lined on the side for water resistance and all of that. When it comes to the zippers, we have Tom been using the YKK uh, zippers with the ratchet coil and on the inside, a nice water resistant coating. All of the zippers are the number eight size, except for the large compartment, which is a number 10. Tom Bin includes the metal zipper pulls on the bag, but they also pack this uh, paracord and TB attachment that you can put on yourself if you want to reduce the jangly a bit. One of the reasons why I really love the Pilot is because I was able to fit all of these items in to this small 13 liter briefcase with what I consider super efficient organization. I tried packing these in a backpack for this trip that I'm on, and I found that while I was able to often fit things in, the way that most bags are organized and the effects of gravity meant that stuff ended up either falling and smushing to the bottom or just being difficult to fit in nicely. The Pilot, with its horizontal design and lots of easy ways for me to fit things next to each other, allowed me to fit these items that I showed you without any hassle at all. This is one of the reasons why I love the Pilot so much. I feel like I'm able to use its organization as though it were a bigger bag while it still maintains this compact size. And in this case, it was easy to fit at my feet in the car for this road trip. Though if I were flying, I could also fit this under the seat in front of me with plenty of room for my feet. The Tom Ben Pilot retails at $165 US from Tom Ben, and it fits that 13 inch laptop at pretty much the maximum size. If this is slightly too big for you and you want something a bit smaller, maybe foregoing the laptop for a tablet, they also sell a co-pilot bag that is a smaller version. In actuality, the co-pilot came first and because people wanted to fit that laptop in, Tom Bin released this, which for me is the perfect size. Thank you for watching my review of the Tom Bin Pilot. If you like content like this and wanna see more, please smash the like button on YouTube, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I appreciate it very much. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.